welcome back to another YouTube video, another vlog, another meat vlog. Let me be specific. Um, you guys in Trinidad, you know, I know the, the environment look a bit different. Um, I'm competing in Crypto Trials. I explained what it was in my last video, but if not, um, it's where all the Caribbean athletes come together to compete and well, they have any trials to represent my country um, in Trinidad right now. So I'm here in Trinidad and I leave on the fourth. Trials is on the second and third, which is this weekend. So we had to compete. Uh, I compete in the 100 hurdles and the 400 hurdles. I'm excited and ready. What else can I say? Like, I'm just excited to go out there and make the team run a few PBs. It's also my first outdoor meet of the season. And I have a lot of meeting mats. So I'm just excited to share that content with you all and really document the whole thing. <laughs> So let me take y'all into the vlog with me. So y'all, we are at the Atawolan Stadium and we saw some uh, Jamaican national team footballers. Just say hi. Uh, <laughs> they competed yeah, against Trinidad today. today. And what are they? Anything y'all want to say? Anything y'all want to say? Or... <laughs> All right, it was nice meeting y'all. Good luck, all the best today. <laughs> so y'all, I just got a punch and a reading Sydney book because I'm about to finish it now. And then we have a few other stuff to do, and then I'm gonna head home and clean my shoe and just prepare, get myself ready mentally, mentally and physically for the two days of competition. So yeah, really excited. I feel not strangely, but I feel calm. So I guess that's a good thing. Cause last time I was this calm, it went well. So you know, starting to not like go a lot based off of fear and being anxious. So say hi to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So any predictions for this weekend? No, I probably should. very successful weekend. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it's already. <laughs> Probably tomorrow. Granny, say hi to the vlog. Granny, say hi ah, to the vlog. Hello. <laughs> hi, y'all. Good morning. It's me day. <laughs> y'all can tell I am excited. There's a little bit of news, but you know, try not to focus on that, to focus on the good. I'm kind of basically all ready. I just have to make sure my bag is like, is like packed and I have everything. Um, my mom is finishing up getting ready. It's about 8.20. We want to get there for 10, so we want to leave by like 8.45, 9 o'clock. Um, I feel good. My legs feel good. I might go see Mr. Walcott for him to do some active releases and, you know, just shake up the legs and get him ready to competition mode because I have one round only. It's only the prelim. Well, only the final and that's it. Yeah, so I'm wearing a different uniform when I compete in Trinidad. Uh, I'll show you all it sometime. I forgot that I had to show you all it and pawn my jersey, but it's like a, a crop top and it's like one sleeve here and no sleeve here. And then, well, the pants, you always see that. And this is my IG Fastlane um, t shirt. It's the color I was running when I was home. But yeah, so this is little meet day look. I might change my hairstyle and I'll show you it. We'll see. It's really hot outside, though. Like, I really want to see how this goes. I need to keep myself hydrated. Hello, Berta, Kaylee, Kalia and Alessio, I know you're watching, I miss y'all, and all the spy track team, <laughs> but um, I know you're watching, so. Yeah, so I'll see y'all when I'm on the way or when I'm at the stadium. Okay, y'all. So Mr. Walker said when I'm like three quarts throw my, my warm up, then to come get the active release done. So I'm gonna head back upstairs, sit, watch for a little bit. I have a little bit of time. I feel calm. I feel good. You know, I don't usually competitive atmosphere, so I'll be fine. 
Wait, so y'all, Jamar is about to run his heat. I'm very excited. They put him and Dylan. Dylan also running in the same heat. So let me see how this go. I don't know why they did that, but they're prepping here. <laughs> Into the warm up track to get started on, but warm up is 12 20. I started at 12 45, but I want to be there early. I just you know, make sure I'm ready. It's uh, decidedly a lot cooler at the Hazley Crawford Stadium for this afternoon session. The athletes. And there we go with the start of competition. And here is Thomas here already getting to the front. She has five more hurdles to go and she's already in charge of this competition the under 17 runner is in hugely impressive as she gets across the line in just under 14 seconds jenna thomas of ig fast lane impressive run her long hair trailing in the mix barely over one hurdle that it snapped into place for the second and she is easily very impressive because she finished in front of the only under 20 competitor kimis gomez and uh, she was far in front and she celebrates 13.84 her time 13.84 and boy that should tell you something the hands in the air would tell you that she has gone she has uh, dipped underneath the Carifta qualifying time of 14.85 congratulations to her and that was a superb run by Jenna Thomas to qualify uh, in second place, just to give you that, uh, well, they've already flashed it off, unfortunately, but that is pretty much an impressive run there from Jenna Thomas uh, in the girls under seven. On the way in now, to the end of the round, looking for one thing there. Jenna Thomas, the wife of Ross, being on the side lead. I ran the curve test standard and a PB, which was the plan. And I wanted to run 39, I ran 38, so you know. Yeah. It was a real good race, but I hit my last hurdle. Uh, the first two hurdles, I was a bit like hesitant, but we're gonna fix all them things. We're gonna work on all of that when I get back. And yeah, that's about it. It was a good race. Like, now I just gonna kinda cool down. Well, I already cooled down, but you know, cool down and get ready to run tomorrow. And what's some finals? Because the boys on the toilet is very hot. Oh yeah. I look so burnt and sweaty. The place is so hot. <laughs> but yeah, it was a good race. This is my nephew, y'all. His name is Jovian. <laughs> oh gosh. But anyways, y'all, he he is a track star and he make it. And he gonna run? Gonna run track? Yes. Say yes, say yes, yes. He say you can run track. Go study. So what you gonna do if you're not gonna run track? He don't know anything right now. He just camera shy. But um, yeah. Going upstairs with me. I want some races. I want some people run real fast. I'm not gonna. Set. And the is time. The pressure is on. And the Looking at it, Kia Heisen of F80 on 58.02. She 
wants to get in there. Completing the first 250 meters. Dia Hassan of the FD. 38 seconds on the clock. The final, there we go, with the start, the twins have started well here, and if anything, the man on the outside of it, that's Cordell Lewis, has started a better than Cordell, and the twin brothers are certainly in some with a fight here, but it is Cordell Lewis who clocked 51.07, he's already crept up on Karen Daniel of RSS on the outside of him, but going quite well is Jaleel Eugene, the Concord athlete, was looking pretty good, now they're starting to pull him in. Cordell Lewis and Karen Daniel have started to pull him in, and here comes Cordell Lewis into the final turn, and he is, has a slight lead, in fact, the man just beside him is putting in a huge battle here, Lewis and Shesla Gordon ahead, Gordon holding on, Lewis gets ahead to take it! Let's go! The pressure is on, the battle is on, for supremacy and excellence, superiority, getting into confederation for the purple front, all the purple means in town, and our Grenada. Those arms and legs. They are, but now taking that lead. The young lady coming into the tournament for the first time of 59.79, Angel Davidson of Mason Hall Police Youth Club, under the watch lines of her coach, Dexter, on the inside here. Mason Hall, Angel Davidson. The battle continues here on the inside of the The town of Eastman of the University of Phoenix. Hey, 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 let's go! Shoot all my way! Boom! Nice, nice. Six and eight, but watch out for a possible upset in this one here. And here we go. There's the start here and already starting off well, an excellent start by Deshaun Lazama. Following him now is uh, Jaden Clement. Those two have gone well and already Lazama has blazed past Jafari Farrell on the outside. Some work to do here for Clement as the man in neon also goes past Farrell and he has some work to do if he is to catch up with Deshaun Lazama. Sean Lazama, the one-a-week man, is ahead here, but here's a new challenge coming from the blue and white of Keon John of Memphis, and the Memphis man has now gone to the front. Keon John, he's also getting some pressure to the left as the Cougars man, Carl Thomas, is there. Thomas just ahead, and Thomas might take it. Thomas does. Gets across the line to take it ahead of Keon John, the short this final. There is the start there, Will Legally and Tobias has a wonderful start in the middle of the track. She has a slight lead. She's under some threat here to her right. Richardson is coming. Richardson is coming, but Tobias wins it. Tobias getting in and just had it. Blocks feeling firm under their feet. Brilliant start here for Chinapu as he gets to the front. Work to do for Herbert to his side. Kamehu is beaten. Powell is coming for him, but it is Chinapu! And Herbert in third, 10.86. Herbert. A superb start here for Symphony Patrick, who's gone to the front. Henry is coming there. Henry is coming up on the outside. She's just ahead, but Patrick does it to win! Symphony Patrick of Concord gets the win. All the age group on the under 20 boys, 100 meters.
this is the end of day one. I'll give you a little update when I go home. Say hi, mommy. Yeah, I thought she videotaped the boys on a 20, 100 meter, and she didn't even videotape it. She, no, I'm not deleting it. She was taping nothing. But anyways, it was good. See, I took the vlog to my tea. Right. How was today? So um, overall, it was good because improvement right. is always key. Right. I slip in the blocks, but we're not going to talk about that. You find us. <laughs> okay, y'all. Yeah, so, I have these two girls from Senate. Yeah, yeah. How was uh, your day today she on the like track? It was good. It was good. Okay. Anything else you want to say to you guys? Thank you. <laughs> and y'all heard that. So y'all we at the grocery now because I'm about to get some um like yes, Trinidad snacks and Trinidad sweets so my um teammates could try it and we can make a YouTube video because we I brought a little bit but it wasn't enough. I wanna make a whole video oh, yeah. about they just tasting these snacks and they like prisons and all this kind of stuff. So we'll see. I'm gonna get some stuff. I got the snacks, y'all. So stay tuned for that video. Hi, y'all. Good morning. Welcome to day two of the vlog. I'm currently on my way to the seamstress to get my second uniform that I'm supposed to be wearing today. It's a bodysuit. I'll literally show you all the design um, because I can't really explain it. You'll know what a bodysuit is, and it have like a circle on my back. You'll just have to see to understand. So let's do like a real small recap of yesterday. I ran a PB of 13.84 and last year I ran a time of 14.5 and I really wasn't doing any 100 meter hurdle work so it was expected and this year we still we're going to be doing it all throughout the year so I know those times are about to drop so I just wanted to run like 39 so I was really grateful when I saw 13.8 I was like oh my gosh like I was literally celebrating so yes it was definitely a good day I can't really do much filming because my phone died like when the finals start to run so i was really disappointed because the crowd was like getting on real um loud and it was roaring and it's just the essence of being in trinidad and having like a big meet but today i'll try and get some more content so i'm excited because i run the 400 hurdles at two o'clock the same time um i'm also a bit scared because it's my first one for the season and i know it's about to hurt so it's just like you know but i really think i'm ready to get it done and I'm ready to relax, you know, so I can refocus because I have Adidas National soon, you know, to end off my indoor season properly. But that's it, y'all. I'll show y'all when I reach by the seamstress how the uniform look, and then we'll be on our way to Port of Spain, Henry Crawford Stadium, where the meeting is taking place. So, vlog, I'm at the seamstress and I have on my bodysuit, and it fits to the T. She's extremely good. Like, it, oh my gosh. Yeah, it fit perfect. Y'all, I'm getting my legs uh, stretched and like loosened up. Um, already at the stadium, I feel good. I just, you know, I feel better once my legs completely loose. Vlog, I'm warming up right now. Yeah, I'm just the hurdles. I really want to get this race over with. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, this is, I never wanted to run a race so bad just so I don't have to think about it anymore so yeah let's get it well this is the final of the girls under 17 and under 20 let's go Chris you got a steady and a good flash get your name wishing all the wishing all get your name Oh, 
Girls. And now it's sunny as it was, but it's more breezy, which is good. Okay. Who would you like to give credit to the performance? So you are the 200 going on right now. They have the under 17 girls line up. Say hi, Chris. Huh? But yeah. This one, Grandison in three, Theodore four. And there they go with the start of the girls under 17. And it is an excellent start in the middle of the track by Zeta Charles. But coming into the final turn, Devonish has a slight lead over Tobias and Richardson is there. But Richardson has gone to the front. Richardson to the front. Tobias is battling back. Tobias is in front. And she's going to win it. She takes it ahead of Richardson. Dev is correct.
Vision Goal, I believe, fucking Chinnabu Simplex. And on the inside. So for the winner, 21.45 seconds. Chinnabu in second, 21.67 seconds. <laughs> You'll be watching the 800 finals, but it done. It, well, they have one more ticket. Yeah, more. they want that. And then it, then it be done just like that. Yep. What are we? No, this is their show. He made the team. So proud of him. We're still after them, brother. Come, 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 But yeah. How is how how is it coming to show today? Two. 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 I wish I did run at this time. Oh, wow. You see that? Cut something. Nah, yeah, I think they did last week. What is that? Curse the trials! Bye bye! Hi, vlog. So it's the last day of me being here. It's around, I think it's around 3 o'clock, 3 25. Um, let's do a small recap. So, yesterday I ran a time at 105.3 um it wasn't a pb it wasn't the best executed race the sun was draining the girl and honestly wasn't too happy with the performance i went out there even though it was the standard like i honestly held myself to a different standard and i was like kind of ashamed to go there and run that when with the type of work that i've been doing but it's still a it's still a start like you know god have to be able to trust me with this appointment for me to receive my blessings so we're just gonna try and throw it to the back of our heads and move on um so we're going to grenada yes we came home just to do that just to make sure we were going to grenada all right i really can just be more grateful and thankful i really was able to honor god on the track on both days and i love that for me um i'm actually getting ready to go to the airport uh yeah why would else why else i'll be filming a video at like 2 25 a.m you know we out again so, hope you all enjoyed watching this video um hope you all enjoyed watching me have fun on the track glorify god um dominate <laughs> and dominate the competition till next time stay tuned for many many vlogs i love y'all i love the support